Hey everybody, it's Thursday and uh, I actually made a video that I was going to call uh, What Else Can I Be All Apologies and it had a lot of Nirvana stuff in it or still has a lot of Nirvana stuff in it and I was going to apologize for certain things but um, I thought instead I should make this video for Assi or Asif I'm, I have trouble knowing what you, how to say your name too Okay, so I thought it might interest mainly As Asif to uh, this video would interest him. I'd tell you about my grandpa, Howard Glover, and his brother, Jack Glover, who my mom calls Uncle Jack, so I call him Uncle Jack too. And um, yeah, basically, uh, they're both coal miners for most of their life in England. They still live in England. And um, um, yeah, they're both artists. My uh, grandpa, Howard Glover, can't say enough good things about him. He's he's one of my heroes, and he's my grandpa, and uh, he's a fabulous artist, great artist. His brother, Jack Glover, is also an artist. He's a professional artist, I guess you'd call him. He's a successful, well-known artist, and unfortunately, I can't show you a lot of his artwork because he needs to get his stuff copyrighted and and whatnot and stuff like that before anyone can see it because he's been in legal battles over some of his pieces for for um, for you know them stealing his stuff and but I can show you some of the famous ones that are on display and I'll uh, do that now for you. Okay, this one by uh, Jack Glover is on display in the Royal Academy in London. One of his paintings in the, on display in the Royal Academy in London. What it is is a famous, famous British artist who uh, puts animals in formaldehyde for art and uh, so Jack painted the artist, that guy in the formaldehyde there, and uh, put him in the formaldehyde like he does to animals. And that's one that's on display in the Royal Academy in London. This next one is also on the in the Royal Academy in London, another one of them, and uh, looks. Uh, it looks pretty amazing to me. I don't, I'm not exactly a pro professional, but um, you probably can't tell just how detailed this is from this. But um, um, this one is, uh, you know, these are famous artworks here on the wall that he repainted small on the wall in his painting. So that's and the detail is he he is very he does a lot of detail as you can probably tell. Okay. This one is of Balmoral Castle. This one is of Balmoral Castle that he painted. Um, it's, I believe it's, you know, like, it's at uh, 10 Downing Street. I believe that's where the Prime Minister lives. I think Prime Minister went, Tony, Tony Blair, I believe? Yeah, Tony Blair. He went to this castle for some sort of, like, uh, to celebrate something. I guess it was his honeymoon or 
something. He was at Belmoral Castle, and uh, my uh, Uncle Jack, my grandpa's brother, painted this, and it's on display at 10 Downing Street. And this last one that I'll show you is Tony Blair. Oops. Tony Blair. It's a uh, English government guy. And he's done tons of tons of other paintings. There's there's others on display at um in uh in Rome of uh, Mother Teresa and he's done portraits of the Queen so yeah I thought that'd be pretty neat so um, oh I'll show you uh, just when my grandpa Howard Glover was over in Canada he was really excited about our pastels here in Canada um, I guess the price or and like our selection and so I'll just show you a couple pastel paintings that I have or we have that uh that he did in Canada that that we have on our wall. Alright, Howard Glover, my grandpa. And that's right by my place, how it used to look. Um obviously stuff since then have has grown, but it used to look like that in the forest by my house. And it's another pastel. It's another pastel that he did while he was here in Canada. <clears throat> he wouldn't have signed it if he didn't like it. So it's pretty good, and I don't know. It's a pastel painting, and yeah, on my wall. My granddad did those while he was in Canada. Okay. Thank you, and uh, have a good day, and Adam, see you tomorrow.